Welcome everyone. Have another adventure for you today. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a mixed bag today. I'll tell you where we are first of all. Um, we're in Coventry, Rhode Island in the village of Anthony. Uh, and what I wanted to show you, I'm not going to be able to show you in very much detail that I wanted to. What I wanted to show you was this. Now I can still show you a little bit like this, but as you can see, this abandoned house has a fence all around it. And not only that, all the windows are boarded up. So I was hoping that, because when I used to drive by here years ago as a cab driver, um, it, there was no fence. I think it was still boarded up, but it was definitely abandoned. Uh, but I had been hoping that if once I get over here that maybe if once I came around back there'd be an open door or window, but unfortunately they got it pretty much secure. Seems to be a lot of places have been cracking down on their abandoned buildings and houses. But it's still cool to see from the outside. Uh, I'm not sure the exact point this house was built in, but from the looks of it I'd say it's got to be at least 100, if not 100, and as much as 150 years old. Uh, Looks like there was a fire there at one point. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna I'll walk around the outside of it real quick and then start heading over. There's a couple other areas I wanna show you today. This thorn bush is grabbing onto my shirt. This is not cool. Hold on. Ow. Oh, now it got me over here. There. All right. I wonder if I can squeeze by it without it grabbing me this time. Oh, now it grabbed me again. My nemesis, thorns. I want to show you something else. Check this hole out. Now, when I came over here before I got on camera, I was walking to where I started filming, and I didn't know this hole was here, and my foot went right in it. Thankfully, I didn't fall or hurt myself, but it's a pretty deep little hole there. Oh, what's this? I don't really want to go through all these brambles right now, but it looks like down there there's a some sort of little pole in the woods. I'm thinking maybe checking that area out another day. Anyway, you can just barely see through the woods there, Anthony Mel, which I'll tell you more about when we go by it in a moment. Or three. But yeah, this house uh been abandoned for quite a while. It, it's been abandoned for at least 10 years because that's when I was a cab driver. I used to drive by here. <coughs> I had a little porch on the side here. I'm going to rather quickly go around the side here because signs say no trespassing here, so I don't want to linger by the main road, but... <coughs> Uh-oh, now this branch is grabbing me. Yeah, this is Washington Street in Coventry. And here's the front of the house. As you can see, more boarded up. Oh my God, guy. Oh, I first, wait, does that say? For a second I thought the number was 666, but I think it's 606. There is an abandoned house, or at least it was abandoned, up in Smithfield, it's numbered 666. I, have to figure out where that is someday and try to take you there. That, that'd be freaky. But uh, yeah, and then here's the side of it over here. Looks like there's a door. There was a door that's boarded up now. Basement windows open there, but probably could squeeze in there. But you have to get over the fence for us. Not to mention it's on the main road. So yeah, that's pretty much a bust. I'm not gonna break myself. I'm not gonna kill myself trying to get in there. All right, so here we go. Going down uh, Washington Street. Now, Anthony Mill over here, um, unfortunately, guys, I don't have much in the way of history to be informing you of today. I tried to look some stuff up on the fly. Oh, what's this? Check this out. Look at this. There's little steps here. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Old abandoned steps. Abandoned steps goes down here. Check this out. 
I'm not sure if this is where, uh, years ago, like I said, when I used to drive by here, there was a really, really old looking abandoned, like crumbling down mill. And this may have been where it was, but just judging by those steps and also by where I remember where it was, it's possible that they took it down. But then again, I don't think it was here because look, these trees are more than 10 years old. So this must not have been where it was. I wish I could remember where it was. I'll have to find it for you someday. But anyway, I'm not sure what's up with those steps. Maybe back when it was an actual mill over here instead of what they've converted it into now, which is like, I don't know, apartments, high-end apartments or condos or something. Uh, maybe that was a way for them to get across over there. I don't know. But yeah. All right, well, I just wanted to, that wasn't what I was intending to show you, but oh, here's more steps that continue on down here. Yeah. I'm guessing it was just a way for them to get down to the mill where they worked. And look at these old rusty bars. There probably used to be a railing here a long, long time ago. It's a very old area of town. Most quite a number of the houses and buildings around here. Quite old. But yeah, Anthony Mill, I guess, you know, back in the day, you know, 100, 150 years ago, whenever it was built, you know, it was, you know, I mean, again, I don't know my history on this, but just obviously it must have been a rather major manufacturing plant, whatever they manufactured there. But uh, I think a portion of it may still be some sort of a industrial business or businesses, but there's a sign out front. I drove by it. I'll show you in a minute. That uh, you can even see it now here. It says the lofts at Anthony Mill. Apparently, they've converted it into at least a decent percentage of it into, uh, like I said, either apartments or condos. This building right here says 1922. A lot of the houses. Even on the side streets are old. You know, I think being on the river and being that there was, you know, the mill and whatnot, and lots of people lived here because they worked at the mill and they needed to have a place to live. I've noticed that at least around here, the older population centers tend to be near water, whether it be the coast or, or uh, rivers, because that's where, you know, I guess I can cut through here. Most of the commerce was and industries were back then. Look at that giant smokestack. So as usual, I'm a little pressed here for time tonight. I only have about an hour before the sun sets. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, the sun's gonna set in exactly an hour. It's 5.12, it'll set at 6.12, so. But, uh, Coventry's funny. It stretches from West Warwick all the way to the uh, Connecticut border. And on its eastern end, it's quite built up. It's almost borderline urban, like in this area. And then it starts getting more suburban and more rural the further out west you go to the point where in the western half, it's just like mostly rural and woodsy. But we're in the built up section right now. But yeah, this mill is definitely still in operation, whether it be as apartments or as businesses. And definitely won't be able to get you in there, but. It's still cool to see it, it's quite old. Now here we are passing over the bridge that crosses over the south fork of the Patuxet River. I'm gonna show you some cool shots here. Hold on, get a good place to stop and then lean over. That's really pretty, can you hear that? Not quite a waterfall, but mini little water pouring. I love those walkways that go across from one side to the other. Now see, this side is definitely a business. It says Concordia Fibers, so. And that building looks a little newer than this one. Look at over on this side, you got a five, not one, well, four, four stories on the main mill building. And then the tower over there has a fifth story observation deck, I guess, for the higher-ups to observe the place. Okay, so, now, in addition to the river 
contributing to the fact that this was a population center back in the day. You also had a railroad line. Um, and I'm not positive what the railroad line was called back in the day, but nowadays they call it the Washendary Secondary Bike Path, I believe, or Bike Trail, something like that. Anyway, it's uh, as is the case with an awful lot of former rail lines, at least around here anyway, I'm not sure about the rest of the country, it's been converted into a bike path slash walking path. But it used to be a rail line that went right along here. Uh, I don't know if you can see down there, I think that might have been a depot where they, they waited for the train. And I think over here, I'm thinking this may have been an older, because that one looks newer, this may have been the original place where they waited on this deck for the train because look they even left an old section of the track here almost to show you the historical way it was laid out i'm wondering you know if this was the deck where they waited except if it was all the way over there except maybe this might have been a side thing for the train to park a train extra train car to park it would make more sense actually since this deck is so close to what is the bike path if this was the track right here then again, that's not exactly that close, is it, either? I don't know. Well, anyway, one side or the other, they definitely uh, probably waited on this to get on the train. That's my theory. Could be wrong, but I don't know what else that old wooden thing would be. Lots of people use this. Here and there, I may be toning down the commentary to so avoid embarrassment. But yeah. How you doing? But no doubt this, this path approximately, if not exactly, matches up with the, where the track was. Alright guys, that about does it for this video. Um, I will uh, start a new one and tune in tomorrow. There's the link to subscribe. Thanks for watching, that rocked.